episode of Beginning an Arc, and today we're going to rejoin the server we've been getting on and talk about taming dinosaurs. Really covering the very, very basics of it. So the mechanics of taming um, in general is similar across the board. Pretty much what you want to keep in mind is incapacitating the dinosaur, keeping it asleep, and then feeding it whatever food will tame it. There's a great app on iPhone and Android called Dodo Pex, which shows you the exact timing and the exact resources you'll need. So for this video, we're just gonna find the easiest one and most people's first tame, which is a Dodo. You can find them on the beach. And what you're gonna wanna do, well, first we gotta make sure is that we have narco berries because we have not gotten to the point where we've made narcotics yet. So to keep a dinosaur knocked out after you've knocked it out, you have to force feed it narco berries. Spoiler alert, that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's collect quite a few of those just to make sure we have enough. I don't actually have Dodo Pex open in front of me right now, but I know that um, Dodo birds in general don't take too many, so I feel confident. Let's open up the old inventory here, take a look. Eight is not gonna be enough. Let's grab some more. Grinding out some berry collecting here. Should be called gardening sim. Come on, I just need narco berries. Don't give me all this. What's other crap? There's four of them. I'm at 14, I believe. Come on. 15. Only 20 of them. Just, just give me a few. All right, we're gonna have to drop some stuff. So, um, I guess we can talk about that real quick. When you want to drop stuff, you just go to your inventory. Wood's pretty heavy, and I'm not building out of wood yet, so you just click it and drop item. Back down, drop the other wood. Stone's pretty heavy as well when you're starting out. So, we'll get rid of all that. Now I can sprint around. That's a little better. And we are nearing 20 narco berries. So, so far, 90% of this video has been me clawing at the earth, trying to get some berries. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so we're gonna sprint over to the beach. Here we've got a pteranodon. And the color on that, it's actually pretty cool. Um, but he requires raw meat and we are not there yet. So I'm gonna leave him be. This guy over here is really obnoxious. One of the newer dinosaurs in the game. He steals from you. So he's gonna try and steal from me. Oh my gosh, go away, buddy. I don't want him to steal my narco berries. Oh, there we go. He took my seeds. Come here. I don't actually need the seeds, so I don't know why I'm so upset about it. That's... Oh, he's level 80. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the time for all that. Okay, so back to the actual point of this video, taming basics. First thing you have to do is incapacitate the dinosaur, and in the case of dodos. You can literally just walk up to them and punch them until they get knocked out. Headshots actually count for a little bit more. Uh, this guy's a level 10, so it shouldn't actually be that hard to get him to pass out, just like that. Don't do too much and don't use a weapon because that'll just kill it. So, once you've got him knocked out, access his inventory with E or F, and you're going to want to put narco berries. And then in the case of dodos, you just take any berry that you want for the actual taming portion. So we load him up with some berries, make sure he has enough. And what you're gonna see is once you've got a um, dinosaur knocked out, he's got an unconscious bar and a taming bar. You can see Dodo's train tame very quick. He's already a third of the way there. Um, if the unconsciousness hits zero before he's tamed, they get back up. And you lose the stuff that you were taming them with, so you gotta keep an eye on them. Most dinosaurs take considerably longer than the dodo, um, like hours. 
any of them, even basic ones like trikes and stegosauruses, if you're trying to just use berries, can take quite a while. Uh, Tranodons, that thing, the flying dinosaur over there, takes a while with raw meat. So, um, looks like I overestimated how many narco berries I would need because it's possible I wasn't even going to need any. But before he gets up and says he's tamed, let's look real quick to keep him asleep. You give them narco berries or narcotics, which are more powerful, and you just hit rem remote use item while it's in their inventory. That'll force feed it to them, and now his uh, unconscious bar will either stay the same or go up. And as you can see, he's about to be tamed, and we've tamed a dodo. We can name him anything we want. Um, he looks like a birdie. So, now we've got our first dinosaur. What can you do with it? Well. Dodos are pretty small, not very good at attacking, can't hold a lot of stuff. Now they do lay eggs, which you can eat, or they're good for kibble. We'll get to that in a later video. For right now, we'll just go over the basics of kind of controlling the dinosaurs you've tamed. So, usually when you want to ride a dinosaur, you create a saddle for it, and you'll hit E to ride it. With dodos, you can't ride them. When you hit E, you'll just pick them up. Now you can run with them. And take it back to my base, and then you just click to throw them. And that wasn't too bad. Didn't get hurt. So, E, pick them up, put them where you want, click to throw it. Now, when you're looking at them, if you want them to follow you, hit T. T on your keyboard. And now he's following. You can see he's pretty far away, though. So if you want him a little closer, go up to him. Hold E for more options, or hold you can just hold T for your whistle options. And I've got, no, I guess I have to hold E. And you can change the follow distance. So now it's high, you stay farther away from me. And then I can change it to low, and there's actually also very low. So now he, in theory, should follow me more closely. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? Did I whistle him off? We go on the lagging. There we go. Catch up. So now he follows me around. And you can actually have a ton of things follow you at once. Um, we'll kind of get into that in a later video. But when you want multiple dinosaurs to follow or stop following you, instead of using uh, T and Y, we use U and J. Um, so T is to follow, Y is to unfollow. So that's the unfollow whistle. Now I can run over here. Maybe I uh, wanted to attack a dinosaur over here without putting a tamed dinosaur in danger. Um, I could do that. And I could go back over here, hit T to whistle him, and he'll follow me. So now I can just run, and especially without there being much danger on the beachfront here, I can just run back to my base. should follow. <laughs> He's not very fast. Uh, it says I'm starving, so let's eat. Oh boy. Nothing to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Let me load it up on some berries here. I uh, put them in my quick bar. Or my hotkeys. And now they remain there even when I'm out of them. And that way when I'm collecting them, now you can see I got one. So number nine is open again. Hit that to eat it. And I can start getting more food. And it makes it a little more efficient. To stay fed. All right, so Birdie is following me still. And one thing we should talk about real quick is you have to keep the, your dinosaurs alive. So the way you do that, you look at them, hit F, that opens up their inventory, and you got to keep food in their inventory. So for dodos, they just eat berries. You can get them anywhere, put them in there, and they can live off that. Eventually, when you have a bunch of dinosaurs, you're going to want to open or uh, craft some feeding troughs so that they can eat and stay fed, especially if you're going to be off your server for an extended period of time. 
Last thing we can talk about really quick is they level up as well. Every dinosaur in the game has an experience meter and you can level up their different stats. So some dinosaurs you'll want to carry a bunch of weight so you can put stuff on them while you're building. Uh, you might boost their food so they can survive longer without food, health, dam melee damage, movement speed, etc. So that's kind of the basics of taming and I think most people's first dinosaur is the dodo. Um, which isn't really a dinosaur, but the dodo bird, because it's such an easy tame. As you can see, it's very quick, it took less than 10 minutes um, from the time I signed on to the time I've got one here back with me at the base. So um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. We'll tame some much more interesting creatures in the next couple weeks, but for now, we'll be happy with little dodo bird. Let's put him in our little hut. Tell him to stop following me. There we go. All right. Well, we'll come in here with that and go to sleep. So, all right. Thanks for watching.